All right, you guys, welcome back to another video. Do not think that I forgot about you. Yes, I'm talking to you. Guys, there are people out there who prefer eight attachment class setups. So I figured, you know what? Let's go ahead and make one for you guys. So hopefully you guys do enjoy today's video. And I'm just going to be real with you, man. This eight attachment class setup is by far one of the best class setups I've used for the Vargo 52 because obviously the more attachments you use the more complete your gun feels so we're gonna be going over that today but first of course I want to show you how this attachment setup works in game so hopefully you guys stick throughout the whole entire video and if you do I really appreciate you make sure to like the video very important make sure to like the video if you want to continue to see cold work content and comment down below the activity is crucial for me just deciding okay yo these people are liking the videos they're leaving a lot of engagement comments letting me know that they want to continue to see it so this tells me that hey i'm gonna keep posting for you guys so shout out to everybody who does that i really appreciate you guys and hopefully you guys do enjoy like subscribe if you're brand new let's get into today's video it's turbo time today is amazing because g fuel sent me the elden ring g fuel flavor which is coming very soon check out this beautiful art design for the elden ring g fuel flavor it's officially called crimson tears all right let's just cut to the chase i'm extremely thirsty right now so let's go ahead and get our g fuel as well as our carnage shaker all right so just a little pro tip just to preserve the aesthetics of your g fuel tub this is just me maybe i'm like ocd or something like that but take a blade or scissors or something like that and make sure to cut along the dotted line. All right, and here we go for the reveal. Bruh. All right, so as far as smell, I've been, I've been smelling it here. It kind of smells like peachy, but anyways, let's go ahead and try it out. You know what? I, I really do like the flavor of it. I was expecting something super fruity. It definitely is fruity, but not too fruity. It's actually just the right amount of fruity. Tastes a little bit more like peach, just what I suspected from smelling it. So uh, G Fuel is absolutely amazing when it comes to these flavors. And this is definitely a great flavor. So with that said, make sure to use code TURBO at checkout to save you some money. And uh, yeah, guys, happy gaming out there. All right, you guys. So we're going to be using this eight attachment class setup for the Vargo 52. And the, the reason why I like using the Vargo 52 is number one, it's actually a pretty good gun. If you haven't seen my stat video, check it out. I just purely talk about the stats, but also the fact that it's a pretty versatile weapon. You know, you, you can add whatever attachments you want to it and it will still perform to your liking. So with that said, so with that said, I think it's time that we explore an eight attachment class setup, which of course we will talk about after the gameplay. But first I'm gonna show you guys how it looks and how it works. One of the main features that I am enjoying about this eight attachment class setup is we get the best of both worlds in our sprint to fire time as well as, you know, uh, tweaking our ADS time just a little bit. So we're going to be doing what we can here. Ah! Come on, come on, come on, baby. I'm waiting right here for you. Wait. Eliminated two. Removed. Hold up. We're in the lead. I think there's another guy here. Come on. Hold on, let's uh, make sure we're reloaded here. I'm a little, I'm a little nervous here. I'm trying to stay alive. Come on. Woo! Oh, you scared, buddy. This isn't for 
forward. We're behind. Jammer planted. Okay, teammates going that way. Oh, no! Dude, we were doing so well staying alive right there. Okay. Let's go ahead and launch this bad boy here. I've been experimenting with using, uh, you know, lower kill streak setups, which I find to be very, very successful in, uh, you know, just doing overall damage to the opponent. Just because you obviously get them a little bit more frequently. Whoa, whoa. What? What was that, man? Is that a fart bomb? I guess so. Oh my. We're doing some damage out here. Come on. Oh, you got me, you got me. He must have seen me. Is that man shooting my body though? Come on, we just gotta win this game though. Absolute laser beam, baby. All right, let's make sure this thing is reloaded. Just playing just a tad bit conservative here. Ah, man, that would have been such a nice move right there. Yeah, I know it's not working, and I know we're behind. Give me, give me, give me, give me, give me tags. Oh, risky. Ah, nice shot, nice shot. Running the Tech 9, of course, man. Tech 9 is still pretty unstoppable as far as SMGs goes. Oh, man. I knew, I knew someone was in there. No! I, I definitely shouldn't have done that. That was definitely a mistake. Noob move, if you want to say. Okay, where is this guy at? Someone else out here as well. Hey, as long as that uh, chopper's out there, I'm going to be chilling in here. Trying to pick him off little by little. Gonna have to in this kind of situation. Slowly build up my streaks again. Oh, what? Oh, man. That is terrible. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Damn, they got another chopper out there. Oh my goodness, the accuracy. Okay, we gotta be careful. Damn, bro, I wanna... Oh, okay, good. Good job, teammate, taking out that helicopter. You're the hero we don't deserve. Give me tags, give me tags. Where they at? Not that time. Gotta grab those tags. Okay, okay. Oh my god! Go! 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 Thank you! Let's go! Grab all these tags, boys. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. We gotta win this one. Go, 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 go. Yes, yes! Grab those tags, boys. Oh! Bro! I went 50 and 10. I went 50 and 10. I grabbed a decent amount of tags. From a purely number standpoint, I was, uh, what, second place on my team? Bro, but the other team was just like, Magnus the tags, dude. We should have won that one. Oh, man. 
All right, but anyways, it is what it is, dude. I still had fun. We absolutely beamed with it. Maybe this class setup is going to be for you. Let's go ahead and talk about it now. All right, you guys, welcome back. You guys are really going to enjoy this class setup. Of course, you guys saw how it performed during that gameplay. We had an absolute amazing time. And it just goes to show the sheer power of this weapon and how versatile it can be, even if you're putting on eight attachments on it. It is still super effective, and I love it. So uh, for the muzzle, we're using the KGB Eliminator. My reasons are because it gives us the best recoil control, especially when you pair it up with the Spetsnaz Grip. So if you guys didn't see my video talking in depth about the stats showing recoil plots and everything like that with different attachment combos make sure to check out that video it's the very first vargo 52 video i ever posted it's pretty much an encyclopedia for all you need to know of how this gun works all right so we're using the spesnaz grip here uh next up we got the vdv reinforced again this is so that we can maximize our range while getting the best bullet velocity as well as keeping that ttk of 300 millisecond time to kill consistent up to that 70 76.2 meter range so uh, if you're wondering where i got these numbers from like i said i do my own testing in that video that i posted on the vargo it shows the ttk and how it compares to other assault rifles in the game and this is why i prefer using the vdv reinforced uh for body reason kgb target designator this is a very underrated attachment in my opinion uh, mainly because it shows you enemy nameplates especially from longer distances that you wouldn't even known were there especially if opponents are you know hiding in you know darker areas that's hard to see this will reveal them and make it so much easier for you to know how to target them now moving on to the magazine this is personal preference but I'm using the 40 round magazine. My reasoning is because I don't want to butcher my aim down sight time uh, worse than it already is. So using the 40 round is definitely sufficient enough for me, but you know, feel free to use whatever you want to uh, handle. So I'm using the speed tape here. This is going to be a very important, crucial part to this class setup mainly because I do not want to butcher my sprint to fire time. So uh, when you look at something like the Serpent Ramp, you get 320. If you look at the Elastic Ramp, you get 340. So that already is a weakness of the gun as is. So I'm trying to mitigate that as much as possible. And to be quite honest, using the speed tape is actually pretty sufficient enough for me, in my opinion. And as you guys saw in the gameplay, I had absolutely no problems with aim down sight time. So go ahead and give the speed tape a shot. It's better than butchering your, you know, your uh, sprint to fire time all the way to 340 uh, when you can have 280 280 milliseconds this is perfect especially if you're gonna go ahead and rush around the map now for stock we're gonna be using the kgb skeletal stock so we can get aim walking movement speed as well as sprint to fire time pros to it so this is what i'm currently rocking if for the optic it's optional you can literally use whatever you want to here but me personally i like the iron sights i enjoy it that's why i'm not using it so for my secondary i've got the street sweeper shotgun this is pretty much like a blueprint and i'm using the duckbill choke uh but i am actually starting to unlock more stuff here so i might update this as time goes on so using the ranger barrel here five milliwatt laser we got the stanag 18 round and for stock we are using the wire stock so Mainly just using it for hip firing. That's what I'm using it for. Then I got Stimshot C4 Jammer. And here's my perk setup. You can use whatever you want to here. But if you want to copy mine, go ahead and do so. Uh, but yeah, guys. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. Like I said, using this gun has been an absolute joy to use, especially with its versatility. And we can definitely make a lot more class setups here in the future. So make sure you stay tuned for that. Make sure to like the video if you are enjoying the Cold War content and make sure to let me know down below in the comments. Yes, Turbo, I want to continue to see some Cold War in my sub box. Please keep posting it. I really do uh, appreciate everybody's feedback and I do take it seriously. So I really appreciate all the support. Make sure to subscribe if you're new around here. Make your way back to the channel. Join to my nation today, make it official, and I'll see you guys in the next one.